All right, nice. let's go to the second pen that is uh, that's added on our website, because this is the first Montegramma limited edition of 2023, and it is celebrating a, a scientific hero whose insights transformed the world. Annabelle, do you know who the guy is? Of course I know. <laughs> okay. It, it will be part of a new Avanguardia collector's series and is a tribute to Nicolas Copernicus. The Polish-born Copernicus was born in 1473. That's a long time ago. Is considered the father of modern astronomy. He was a Renaissance polymath whose heliocentric theory of the solar system contradicted the beliefs of contemporary astronomers philosophers and religious leaders. His findings would not become widely accepted for more than 200 years and remain banned by the Catholic Church until 1835. To celebrate the 550th anniversary of the first European scientist to propose that Earth and other planets revolve around the sun, Monte Grappa releases 550 fountain pens and rollables, including a 55-piece numbered reserve edition comprising fountain pen and a companion wristwatch. So that's pretty cool. Besides the black and white celluloid grip section, the Nicolas Copernicus writing instrument is crafted entirely from sterling silver. Two central elements are produced using lost wax casting, a custom Rosolino clip depicting mathematicians, compasses, and a working reproduction of a celestial globe on the cap top, which is pretty cool. Both objects feature on Copernicus's official monument in front of Warsaw's Polish Academy of Sciences. Engraving provides further ornamentation with Fermel depiction the sun on the lower barrel at the center of eight orbiting planets, hand detailed in opal sand enamel, finishes and distributed across the length of the barrel and cap. Each enamel application results in different finishes that give every pen its own unique character. Traditional slavey cross stitch Patterns decorate the blind cap and cap band, while Copernicus's signature is presented on the vinyl. The fountain band has a piston filling mechanism and the 18 karat gold nib, which is customized with Copernicus' likeness and the Earth orbiting the Sun. The packaging is also quite special with a walnut display case with an acrylic lid that provides a view onto a pen and on the reserve edition, the timepiece. Annabelle, what do you think of this amazing limited edition of Montegrappa? Um, I'm a bit worried about the ball at the top and that it might be a <laughs> bit fragile. That? I don't know how well it's connected there. I feel like, I feel like it could, I mean, so I see a lot of people who drop pens all the time. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if that one, pen please. was dropped, I feel like I could see a wonky, <laughs> wonky little solar system on top of that pen very quickly. Yeah. And um, it's made of, it's made out of silver, right? It's it's the perfect fitted spinner. And then how do you clean it? I wonder. <laughs> oh, true. I mean, it looks like the top. If that's also silver, it looks like it's already a bit darkened mm -hmm. anyway. So maybe mm -hmm. it's not meant. So if that's not highly polished, that's fine. Um, that's the perfect ADHD pen with a <laughs> spinner built in. Right? Can you actually spin it? Of course you can. The the top bit, the top. Yes. Okay. It's a moving part. Oh damn! It's now showing in B-roll. Okay. You don't see it right now, but it will be shown right now. Okay. Well. I'm looking forward to to seeing that B-roll. Uh, yeah, if you can actually like, if actually, you can actually fidget with it and spin the things around, then that sounds like a hoot. Yeah, um, yeah pretty ballsy of an American, uh, com uh, no, an Italian company to to <laughs> support scientific evidence rather than the stance of the Catholic Church. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's true. Um, would you like to know a little bit more about the pricing? 
Um, or are sure. you too afraid to hear this? I mean, it's not. I I'm assuming it's not going to be within my budget, but <laughs> go ahead. So the fountain pen alone, it is around four thousand six hundred ninety euros. But if you also would like to have the wristwatch, then you have to think more or less about eleven thousand euros. So right. I mean, you like watches. That seems right up your alley. It's the second time in a really short time that people think that I'm into watches, but I only have two watches. Yeah, so but you have a watch. fancy watch. And I have another watch, but that's about it. R exactly. But you really, really care about those watches. Right? I care about everything what I have. Huh. I don't know. I'm not a watch person, which is sacrilegious of me to say, because I went to a school where they teach little, little watchmaking <laughs> clock stuff um mm -hmm. but yeah cool everybody knock yourself out i think i'll pass on this one but <laughs> what do you think maybe Evan? next time